two, four, six, eight. We are on our fourth uh, Mojo Monday of 2022. How are you? I'm super good. Thank you. Happy Mojo Monday to you, Brett. I love this. One of my favorite parts of our week. It's it's really our our thought leadership where we put all our the way we think into a short little motivational video, right? Uh, and I really hope it inspires people. One of the coolest experiences for me, Rick, was uh, attending a couple of holiday get-togethers and people telling us how how meaningful this uh, Monday Mojo Mojo Monday was to them, which uh, I thoroughly appreciated. I know you did as well. Yeah, it's special when you know you put your heart on it and you do your very best, and you know people respond favorably. It inspires you to keep doing, you know. So we keep momentum. doing gift of momentum. There you go. All right. So we started 2022 with the five love languages and uh, obviously physical touch uh, isn't super appropriate business. So we're calling it the four business love languages. And today is number four. Yes, so we sir. did words of affirmation. We did. We've done acts of service and we did quality time last week. And today it's about gift giving or gift receiving, right? And, and the, the gifts being a love language. And I don't know, uh, coming off the holidays, gifts was a very uh, top of mind scenario, right? But what does gifts mean to you, Rick? It's an expression of um, generosity. It's an expression of thoughtfulness. Gifts and gifts come in all shapes and sizes. A gift could be a kind word, but the obvious... Um, interpretation would probably be a physical gift but yeah. again gifts that's a big wide open you know opportunity to make someone feel special heard honored respected appreciated yep i wrote down uh this is what somebody said about it. they said thrive on the thoughtfulness and effort behind a visual representation of love and mm -hmm. i don't think love's super inappropriate in the where in in the business world because love comes in all different forms right um, but at the end of the day, you're right, Rick, it's a thoughtfulness gesture and it's really letting somebody know that they're known, loved and cared for. And they, they mean something to us because we're taking time out of our day to express that in the, in the form of a gift, right? Absolutely. And when you talk about the context of love languages, um, just realize that every, not everyone receives equally the value of each of the four love languages we're talking about, right? Whether yeah. it's acts or affirmations or, or quality time or gifts, you know, I think it's important to, you know, to pay attention to what someone, their, their responsiveness to your gesture, or your act of one of the four and yeah. make sure you don't give them what you think they want, give them what they know they want or need. And then uh, I think the, the magnification of that expression becomes obvious. Absolutely. And I guess kind of you can go to the real estate industry and the, the most common gift would be a closing gift, right? Sure. But I'm, I'm not sure that's all we're talking about. But nope. some agents buy the same gift and give everybody the same gift at closing. Mm. And some agents get a little personal in the gift, right? And I'm Absolutely. not saying one's better or worse. I'm just saying it's certainly a part of our industry in gift giving, right? Well, you want the economies of scale of a bulk, bulk purchase, especially if it's branded marketing material. And, you know, if your brand's on it, I think there's tax deductibility. I'm not an accountant, so there's my disclaimer. But um, at the end of the day, the more specific and strategic the gift is relative to the receiver, the more likely the impact lands squarely on the target. Yep. It's going to hit the heart when, you know, we've all known this. What's a, Has someone ever given you a gift that was super appropriate and exciting because it was exactly what you wanted or needed? Of course. Think back. Is there anything pops into mind? Because I've got one. I mean, I, always. Go ahead. So mine, um, and it comes from a friend of mine, Supreme Lending, Nick <clears throat> Birgen. I moved, you know, bought a house in Florida, and he sends me this box of really cool, strategic, and specific things, all relevant to being either near the beach or, or fishing. And uh, it, it was just, obviously, he put thought into it, and he, he had a resource for where to go, where he could tailor the gift. But, you know, he could have sent me a card and a gift card or something or, you know, to go shop at Bass Pro Shop, which would have been awesome. But the fact that he took time to connect the dots and where I am and where I'm going yeah. made a massive difference in my perception of his thoughtfulness. Absolutely. So you as the receiver, uh, it spoke to your love language and your business relationship, right? 100%. What do you think, what do you think it felt to him? 
I mean, some, you know, this is one of those, the giver, you know, the gift is in the, in, to the giver. And, and I believe that for sure. If you've got a, a heart for contribution, when you know you hit the mark, it feels amazing. But to the receiver, I think, again, you get, you know, we all, we all create margin in people's hearts and minds based on the amount of um, love and attention you get from them and the sense of be, feeling important. And I think when you're very strategic about it and specific, I think you buy more longevity in that experience or that, that, you know, you hit the reticular activator and I think it just, there's more longevity. There you go. Um, so I'm going to put you on the spot and full disclosure, I didn't give you a heads up on this one. Can't What's wait. the right way to receive a gift? You're right. You didn't. Um, <laughs> I mean, you did that to me a time or two. I did. That's what makes <laughs> it special. This is organic. And I hope yeah. you guys appreciate the fact that we frame up three or four ideas, you know, in advance, and then we just let the tape roll. And I think life's about letting the tape roll. I think the appropriate, I mean, certainly gratitude is, you know, for the gift. In fact, here's how you know the law of reciprocity is alive. I'll derail for a second, then I'll come yeah. back to you, to the question. It's when someone sends you a gift and you feel like you immediately want to gift them something. And it's almost like, I don't know about you, but it, get, thank you notes are rare, especially heartfelt thank you notes that are, you know, a, a paragraph or two or a yeah. few sentences even. And when I get one, the shelf life's almost infinite. I it, It's hard for me to throw it away. And so... It, and my immediate thought is, man, I, I want to send a thank you note to the thank you note, which basically confirms the law of reciprocity that it exists. Hundred percent. Well, so the way to receive a gift, I think, is to express equal or greater um, gratitude and sincerity, and and reflect that back, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so timeliness is important. Sending a thank you note back, even if it's something you did, you could even express how grateful you are that they're such a warm, loving, caring, thoughtful person. And that alone will, again, it's not about strategic margin and it's not about doing things for, for a reciprocal outcome, but just know that exists. And people can tell when you're being sincere. There you go. Are experiences gifts? Does it have to be tangible? I think experiences might be next level gift giving. I agree with you. And um, I think if you customed an experience to somebody, uh, I think that's probably just speaks to just a higher, higher level of love around gift giving, right? Because you're giving them an experience more than you're giving them something yeah. that uh, a value, right? Right. Well, there was a time and I, I, you know, our team would create a quarterly experience for the, all the clients that closed that month. And we did it for two reasons. One is to reconnect with them and express gratitude. The other is for them to meet other people in the community that were part of the team experience. And I remember one in particular, Brett, that was one of the coolest things we did. And you guys should write this down. We found this kind of a iron chef cook off company that, that had, you could bring up to 20 people and you break into teams and you each have different rest. You have to create a dinner together and then you sit down and enjoy the dinner together. And it was probably the coolest thing experientially that our team's ever done. There you go. And if nothing speaks to love more than food, right? Yeah. Well, that, you... that food and time. There you go. <laughs> All right. So real estate, obviously closing gifts are a, a part of our industry, but there's so many other opportunities to speak to this love language and business around gifts, right? So pop buys is something that's been around for a long time in our industry. Tell me what that is. It's simply showing up with a gift in hand. And I think it was uh, Brian Buffini, one of the early mentors and, and coaches that I had through his program was like, never show up. I think it's, it might even be an Irish um, saying, always show up one arm lo lower than the other, which implies bringing some token something, whether it's a I'm bottle of wine, depending on, you know, their tastes and likings or, um, it, it could be flowers. It could be something, again, it, the more strategic and specific, the better, but honestly, anything is better than nothing when it comes to expressing gratitude or sincere interest. There you go. And obviously holidays, see, you know, those kinds of things create opportunities. Um, pie giveaways, that's a, a custom gift around a certain time of year. Um, yeah. just giving gratitude gifts. I'm appreciative of you. Right. Um, what about giving yourself a gift? Is there a place for that in our industry? Well, 
you just took it a whole different direction. That was yeah. not on the list either. No, <laughs> I, think, I think the greatest love on the planet is self-love and giving yourself the gift of a, a you know, a mental or physical break and yeah. creating margin in your own life and looking or a reward. Your, yeah, or exactly a reward. And also not punishing yourself when things don't go perfectly to the extent because punishing yourself does nothing. You know, I, I think self-reflection is important and self-analysis and, you know, maybe recompassing or directing your, you know, your, your activities for the coming days or weeks to maybe make up for a shortfall is great, but we, we tend to be hard on ourselves. And I think the gift of margin self-love is maybe the best gift you can give yourself. And that creates better energy that you can't give away what you don't have. And so by yeah. doing that, you, I think, generate more positivity that gives you more, a more powerful expression for yeah. the world to see and feel. And I would just like to throw out there. I don't think gift giving is all about the dollar amount. I think it's about, uh, I think there's a certain dollar amount that says, hey, I went to uh, put some effort into this and I was thoughtful and I wanted to express my my love or my my gratitude for you. And it, it meaning not a trinket, right? Right. Um, yet it's not go break the bank. It's it's more yeah. about just that that custom feeling of gratitude and thoughtfulness, right? Well, here's an example of that. I have a good friend, Frank Brockway in the Intown office. Um, he texted me a month or so ago and he said, Hey, Royal Blood's coming to the, you know, to the Eastern. You, you should buy tickets. They go on sale tomorrow. And I would not have even noticed it might have sold out. I might have completely missed the experience. And there's a two part story inside of this story. One is I bought the tickets. Two, and we, we're going to go together. So there's a physical experience, but there's also the thoughtfulness of the reminder. And when you pay attention to the things that other people, you know, find important that they may miss, I think the gift is, is in being, you know, thoughtful and on top of your game, even on top of their game. I mean, that goes a mile. Yeah. Well, Rick, I mean, there's certainly leverage tools. Like I think one of the older ones was send out cards or these companies that will send brownies as a thank you gift, or right. they allow you to send custom gifts. Certainly the world has moved to leverage around sending flowers and, and certain people flowers is the right gift. Right. And um, certainly thinking of you thoughtfulness, all that stuff is around gift giving, but at the end of the day, it's about love and relationships and not specifically uh, this is the business conversation. And this is how do we develop relationships to people that like love and trust us. And if, if I show thoughtfulness and gratitude with gift giving to the people that are in my database, my top people, and I make them feel special and know that I care about them and they're, they, they have meaning to me. Uh, it, it enables my real estate business to thrive. And I think that's what the whole purpose of this conversation was today. What would you wrap us up with? I would just say, be strategic about it. Don't leave it to organic chance. Don't hope to come across some tidbit of information or news about a past client or someone that you really care about and hope that you were paying attention long enough to pick up on the queue to then pick up the phone or send an email or a personal note. I say print out your entire, especially your Met database and especially your inner 20% and go back and kind of mentally confirm the last time you had a quality conversation. And if it's been longer than 30, 45, 60, for sure 90 days, be very proactive. Remember, a question unasked is a question unanswered. And the simplest way to, to initiate that, you know, understanding of what they want is to simply go, hey, thinking about you, haven't talked in a while just wanted to connect what's going on in your world. And it could be that simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. And to your point, it doesn't have to be expensive. There you go. Where are we going next? That wraps up the four business love languages. Mojo Monday, sir. Mojo Monday. Hope you guys have an amazing week. We love and care about you. Awesome. Hey, hey. Do a shimmy shake.